In today's video, we're going to be showing you how to remove your stock Suron motor and speed controller and replace it with the Torp Motors TC1000 speed controller and the TM25 motor. This TM25 was developed for Suron Light B with mounting options for other vehicles as well. They do offer the TM25 in a hall sensor or encoder, three times less resistance compared to the stock Suron motor. The Torp TM25 has a peak power rating at 72 volts of 27 kilowatts. On 80 volt, it can go all the way up to 31 kilowatts, and on 120 volt, it peaks at 40 kilowatts. And if you're looking for something a little less than the TC1000, they also make the TC500. And you can use my code HAWK5 and save 5% at checkout on torpmotors.com. So let's go ahead and install the Torp Motors TM25 and TC1000 speed controller. I hope you all enjoy the video and if you have any questions feel free to comment below and don't forget to use my discount code at checkout, HAWK5. Enjoy. We're not going to talk a whole lot during this disassembly but I'm going to walk you through it. You're going to need to remove the skid plate. Be cautious of these clips right here, you can lose them. After you've got that skid plate removed, you're gonna need a three, four, five, and six millimeter Allen head, as well as a Phillips head screwdriver. We're gonna go ahead and remove this plastic cover right here on the speed controller at the bottom. The bike is flipped upside down currently. I just personally enjoy uh, flipping the bike upside down to remove the motor. Speed controller, kind of hit or miss. I mean, if you have to remove the motor, then definitely just go ahead and flip the bike upside down. If you're only removing the speed controller, you don't necessarily have to do that. So once you've got all the speed controller bolts out, most of those are three and four millimeter. And then you've got some five millimeters right here holding on all the connections. Make sure your battery is removed from your bike. Right here is another reason why I like to have the bike upside down. That kind of holds the speed controller for you. You're gonna pull these out of the frame and then that's gonna allow you to move like the whole battery tray back. And then you're gonna reveal the three plugs that hook the speed controller into the bike's wiring harness. You're gonna unplug those three plugs And now you have your old wiring harness removed. Right there's what the three plugs look like. Next up, we're gonna go ahead and remove this uh, belt cover or chain cover, depending on if you have the chain conversion or the belt drive. I like to just go ahead and use an impact gun. These are just normal threads. On the Torp TM25 motor, they are reverse threads. So left will be tighten and right will be loosen. Gonna go ahead and break that six millimeter out and remove this motor. Um, right now I'm just breaking all of the bolts loose. On both sides there's four of them. So once you've got your engine bolts loosened, you can take a pry bar and if you go to the frame or to your peg brace if you have one, uh, that will either tighten or loosen the belt drive. Sometimes you'll need one of these little puller tools as you can see on this one, I didn't even have to use it. It just kind of split off very easily. Uh, I've had some that are on there tight and some that aren't. You don't want to lose that little square uh, slot key holder thing. I don't know what it's called, um, but it goes right there on the shaft of the motor. Got one more connection right here on the main harness, and now your engine is ready to be removed. Motor, sorry, not engine. I'm um, going to go ahead and remove that motor now. And as far as how this goes, it uses the bottom hole right there. It's gonna go bolt, square washer through the frame, then through the big washer, and then through the big spacer, and then into the motor. So we've got our stock motor out, and look at this bad boy. We've got the setup right here, boys. Torp Motors TC1000 and TM25. We're gonna go and drop this motor in, and all of this is just gonna be reversed of our install and then there's an extra harness that's going to come with the torp and like reverse I said right here, threads we've got reverse threads so don't forget about those reverse threads gonna go and slide that on in the keyed slot 
then you can put your belt on and I always like to wait until the bike's completely back together and then I'll tighten down uh, the actual nut on the motor I'm gonna go ahead and tension our belt you don't want this thing too tight and you don't want it loose Uh, we've got one more plug right there, then we're going to go ahead and remove these brackets on the factory speed controller. So those are the factory speed controller brackets. And now you just run your bolts directly through for that torque motor uh, and then the TC1000 bolts right through the frame. They send you the hardware and you just shove the bolts right through those top holes in the frame and it will go to the middle bolt holes and now we're going to tuck all this wiring harness in behind the skid plate and go ahead and download the app so first things first you're gonna calibrate your motor it's gonna start doing some crazy stuff all on its own to make sure you have the bike on a stand then you're gonna calibrate your throttle you just slowly twist it then let go of it and once you're all calibrated up you should be getting close to being ready to rip this thing no matter if you have the TC-1000 or the TC-500, if you'd like to run your factory display, the factory display also works. So you don't have to buy the aftermarket upgraded display. Now, I'm not super familiar of what the max battery and motor current are with this setup, but I do remember with the TC-500 and the stock motor, I was able to run 8.6 kilowatts so this motor current is significantly larger I don't remember what the stock one went to but I think it was somewhere around 400 was where I kept it, it goes all the way up to 800 so I guess 400 is halfway so this motor should only be running at half current and then we can take the battery current all the way up crank up the rpm and we now have 8.6 kilowatts out of the stock Suron battery. And of course, depending on what battery you have, your battery current will be able to go up higher or lower. So after we put the 72 volt Chai battery in here, we're gonna be able to push a lot more power. So stay tuned for the next video. Outside, this thing looks absolutely beautiful. Got the big Torque TM25 motor. This, this motor just looks absolutely beautiful and it's so heavy duty. Uh, so this is definitely a cool little sleeper build. I hope you all enjoyed the video. going to go ahead and take the little boy for a ride. He absolutely loves riding on the Suron, guys. So like I say at the end of every single video, always remember, everybody starts out as a nobody. I hope you all enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.